Calgary's mayor will not be putting his name on the ballot in October's municipal election. It's been more than a decade since there was a different face in the mayor's chair at City Hall, and that's all about to change. Talking to City News, Mayor Nenji says it's the right decision for him, and he hopes it's the right decision for Calgary. And there are five simultaneous crises going on in the city all at once. We have the public health crisis with the pandemic. We've got a mental health and addictions crisis. We've got an economic crisis. We've got an environmental crisis, climate change. And we've got finally a reckoning, I hope, on the issue of how we go to be a truly anti-racist place all at once. And so clearly the first issue for the new person, and I hope to set them up really well, but the first issue for the new mayor will be managing the post-pandemic recovery, particularly the economic recovery. Then she was elected in 2010 and feels it's time for a change at City Hall. He says it's time to listen to new, diverse, young voices, but he doesn't plan on endorsing any candidate. No, I don't intend to endorse anybody. I don't intend to tell people how they should vote. But anyone who knows me knows that it would be impossible for me to sit down and shut up during an election. I got lots of stuff to say. And so I hope I'll be able to be helpful with citizens in helping frame some of the issues and helping people understand the issues better. And certainly I will not hesitate to call out any candidate who is misinforming the public. He says new candidates will have to work hard and campaigns have to be more than just, I'll cut your taxes. We've just had a lot of platitudes, frankly, to date. And I think citizens deserve better than that. And I think as citizens, you want to push your candidates, both for mayor and for council. This will be the biggest shift in city council in my memory. Probably a majority of council members will be new. And so you really need to ensure that you're pushing the candidates past the platitudes to really understand what it is they're gonna do for you. It's not enough to say, I'm gonna cut taxes. Well, we already cut taxes. The question is, we have the lowest in the country. The question is, what are you gonna to do to build the city? Then she says, being mayor was the honor of his life and the city is better off than on the October night in 2010 when he was elected. Then she is looking forward to the next chapter in his life.